Yeah. Sorry, is KJ being himself? <laughs> I'll know I, I know I'll need the office program for these graphs, so I'll open that now. Student error. <laughs> Come on, open up. Here we go. Right, so if we can write this down. Yeah. It's long. Uh, okay, got that? Graphs of log A and log N. Yeah. Okay, so um, here's some data for a radioactive sample. At the end, we see it's decreasing. So let us plot this, and I'll just use an office program. Um, so for the exam, you would need to use graph paper, but of course, and again, that should be small t. And um, can you just write these numbers down? Yeah, I think it's time now for the second blind. <coughs> Should we write down the whole thing? The cable, the cable. What? Oh my goodness, hang on. The table, I want the table. Oh my goodness, <laughs> write down this table. Okay, have you got the no. numbers? Not yet. Do you know you're pretty smart, KJ? <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> you're not saying it's not. Right, you got that table? Okay, so uh, that's office time. So we have time in seconds and number of radioactive oh. isotopes in moles. So the time, I think it goes from zero at 10, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. No, seconds. And uh, ha we have 100 moles at the start, isn't it? Yeah. Is this, uh, hang on, so I can do this kind of a, a smarter way, and uh, let me see, a hundred, yeah, how many decimal places, I had two, did I, okay, um, I'll do two here, it doesn't matter. Right, so here are my numbers. Now let's plot this, but you should know what the plot looks like. No, 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 no. Not linear. You know what it's like from math class. So what goes on the x-axis here? Um, graph of um, n against t. The x-axis is time in seconds and the y-axis is a uh, number of atoms, radioactive atoms, in moles. And you see you get this decrease in shape like this. Exponentially decreased in fact. Okay, so I don't need you to draw that, I just wanted you to see it. Yes? Question? 
Yeah. Yeah. Do we have to remember the sh- shapes of? Oh yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. For the exam, yes, definitely. Yeah, the four shapes. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Okay. So you've seen this graph. Now, as you can see, the graph is exponentially decreasing, uh, which is not a surprise because the formula was e to the minus uh, m zero e to the minus lambda t. So it's not surprising. We can see what the n0 is from the graph, but what's the lambda? So if you looked at the graph, you can see what the n0 is. Where's the n0 on the graph? It was the initial value. Yeah. And what's the lambda on the graph? Uh, the you can't tell what it is on the graph, really. Yes, question? No. No. Um, now, there's a little trick we can do to make the graph more useful, though. You can't really read the lambda from the graph. Uh, unless we do something to the graph. So let's take the log of n. So here uh, it's the same table, but except this time here I have a new value which is going to be the log of n and the units will be log of moles. So this is just going to be log of this number here. Is, does that, um, that's not too difficult. And I'll do two decimal places again. So here are the logs of all the numbers. Okay. So um, I, in fact, they ask, they've asked you to do this in the exam. They said complete the following table, and what you need to do to complete it is to add in an extra row that has log of n in it. Do you know how to calculate log in your calculator? Yeah. So then tell me why some students will still get this wrong. I don't know. Did you press the cost. No, I checked. It's still not even that. So don't be stupid. <laughs> log n, just type it in on the calculator and you get the log of the n here, okay? So um, it's the same values in uh, my program. Can you add this to your table, this row? No. Yeah, can you, but can you write those numbers into your table? I'm not looking. Yeah. For your physics video? Yeah. You have the wrong name for the wrong video. Do I? Yeah, tutorial for the lecture and lecture for the tutorial. Ah, uh, I suppose you can live with that. Exactly. No, no, I'll, uh, which lecture? Just uh, this, the, 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 the one we did from half life. Uh, okay, so yeah, it's right from the table here. Write this down, KJ? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. You got this? Um, yeah. Okay, so let's have a look at the graph. So I'll highlight this and I'll highlight this. log of n against t. The x-axis is time in seconds and the y-axis is log of n and the unit is log of mole. Uh, Okay. So you've noticed now you've got a, a straight line. Let me actually draw it in. So when you take the log of n and plot the log of n against the time, 
you get a perfectly straight line graph. So let's look at what the slope of this graph represents. Um, okay, so let me see here. Come on. Notice how the graph is linear. In the exam, if they give you data and they ask you to plot it, they're expecting you to know for these problems you need to get the log first. They won't tell you to do that. Huh? For the radioactive graph. Okay, so now let's have a look at this. What happens when we put the log on both sides? So we get... Uh, if we go back to my formula, uh -huh, which of course this is gone now. No, it's, but it's the pad is not on, so I got a little command that refreshes all the USB devices. No, you need pen and pad. I don't know if it's the pad. No, it's back on. You can try this one to new laptop. New laptop would be good, but I don't want to buy a new laptop. No, it's off. I mean, bad new laptop. You can check it in the file. Yeah, you just check it in the file. It's working with the natural light. Uh, Dying voltage. Or both. Or both. Right, so you have n equals n zero. E minus lambda t. So if you put a log on both sides, you get log n equals log n zero plus log e minus lambda t. So you get log n equals log n zero minus lambda t. So you get log n equals minus lambda t plus log n zero. Now what do you have on the x-axis? What do you put on the x-axis? Uh, Time. And then what do we put on the y-axis? Okay. Log n. Okay. Lambda That's why it's almost that. So you now have y equals minus lambda x plus uh, log n zero. So this here is the slope and this here is the intercept, the gradient and the intercept. So therefore, um, if you want the decay constant, that's equal to minus the slope, the intercept, uh, the gradient. And if you wanted, for example, log n zero, which you don't usually want that, um, the C, uh, the log of n zero is the C of the graph. Yeah, this much. You got that? Are we just waiting for Fahad? Did you write all this down? Sorry Fahad, tough break, I'm moving on. <laughs> so, if we, uh, if we apply log to both sides, we get this equation. And so, y equals log n, x is t, f is minus lambda, and c is log n zero. Well, that's what I just said, anyways. Ah, no, it's okay because you have it from the previous. Okay. Uh, continuing. Let me just uh, fix something here. I noticed I missed a comma. I missed my comma after my log n. Right here. Okay, um, next. 
Oh yeah, so that was with M, okay? But if you did the same thing with activity, you get the same formula. I mean, the only difference is the M0 is a A0, but in fact, you could check it. The gradient is still minus lambda. The only difference is with the uh, intercept. So my point is, it doesn't matter if you plot n, log n or log activity. In both cases, the uh, gradient gives you the decay constant. Uh, so you don't have to write that down. Uh, or what you could just write down is this works for log a as well. Okay, next now. Uh, so here's an example. Um, I will do this in my program, but you can write down the numbers and then we'll do these together in the program. So again, it's 0 to 10, and here are the... Uh, now, this one's activity, not that it matters. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's uh, have a look at that. Um, okay. Right. The time is zero to ten, is it? Yeah. And the activity is equals. And what's the first activity? <coughs> ten. And the next activity? What is it? 8.41 10 divided by um, oh, hang on, okay, I don't know what I'll do 8.41 8.41 oh. and what's after that? 4.16 okay, so I need to round these off how many decimal places? <coughs> 2 will do Okay. Now, again, in the exam, they will not tell you to take the log, but to make the graph, we need the log. So the first thing we do is get log of the activity, and what would the unit be? Well, log of the equal. So that's it done already. There's all the logs there. Okay. Next, we need to make the plot. So I'll plot it, and then you can roughly draw it in your notebook. Uh, yes, no, I'll just put the, before you do that, uh, Fahad, I'll put the graph on the same, I'll just move these over. But I want to squeeze the graph here, so just one sec. Uh, okay, scatter, um, example, question. Uh, the x-axis is time in seconds, the y-axis is log activity in log equals, and then we have that, and then we have that, and then we need to shrink it.
Okay, you got this? Mm -hmm. Now, you won't have a computer program to make the equation here for you. So we estimate the um, slope here by drawing a triangle. So here, what number is that? That's 2.25 minus, what's that, that's 0 0.6. Yeah, I know, but technically for the exam, you're supposed to read the values from the graph, not from the table. Because what will happen in the exam is these points won't line up nicely, so the line won't go perfectly through all of them. Um, X is 10 minus 0. So I got a slope of minus 0 0.165. And here it's minus 0 0.173. So let's just take this one here. So what's the decay constant? Minus nope. Zero point one seven three. And the unit? Second. Per second. So for part B, can you write the answer down? Lambda equals zero point one seven three per second. Got that? Yes? Next part. What is the half-life? Okay, so what's the formula for half-life? And what's our lambda? 0.173. So the answer is 4 seconds. Is the half-life. Four seconds. Okay. And then next. T is log 2 over lambda. What is the N0? How can you get the N0? No, this is activity. You can do a divide activity by lambda? Yeah. So, um, you know that a equals minus, minus lambda n. So if you divide the activity by uh, minus lambda. lambda. Now notice here I put the activity. Guys, notice activity really should be negative. So why did I not put the minus signs here when I should have really? Oh, because minus lambda lambda. Oh yeah, no, no, but back to the okay. separate thing. Why don't I have minus in this column? Yeah. Here. Why are these all numbers all positive? They should be negative. Activity is a negative number because you're losing the atoms per second, yes? Why do I not put the minus here? Because I'm going to take the log of it. You can't take the log of a negative number. So this is what I mean where you have to be careful with the signs. These really technically are negative numbers. But as long as you say these are destructions per second, then that implies the minus. You get it? Right, so as you were saying, Fahad, the n is the activity divided by lambda. So what's the initial activity? 10. And what's the lambda? 0 0.173. So the value you get when you divide is 57.8. Jay, did you write that down? Fifty-seven point eight. Have you got that? Yeah. yeah okay. So last part here. Uh, so 
again, look, look, I can just do this on my calculator. What's the formula for n? n0 e power minus lambda t. What's the n0? Uh, percent surface surface and what's the lambda? Minus 0 0.13? Or oh, what is it? What's the lambda? 0 0.173. 0 0.173. And the time? Uh, 11. 11. So if I just hit that in on the calculator, I get 8.6. Six, two. Now, that's kind of a silly answer because you can't have eight point six two atoms, can you? Can you have eight point six two atoms? Not really. So, this wouldn't happen in the exam because what I didn't really do here, but I should have maybe, these numbers are too small. They should be like moles, you know, 10 to 23. So really I should have had here something like a um, uh, mole equals to make these bigger numbers. So then my answer, I'd have to multiply it by 6.02 times 10 to the 23. But I mean, that's not, a, that's not something to worry about. Um, I, before we go to the next topic, I want to show you what this question looks like in the exam when I saw it, okay? But anyways, let me just put the questions up here. Um, Now, you can see, look, you can see what I did for this question. Look, KJ, for your homework question, I made them mega equals. See here? Um, I think what I'll do for next year is I'll make this. Mole BQ. I mean the homework? Oh, that's a mega. 10 to the 6. So this is the homework question. Please note it. Take a picture if you want, whatever. Okay, can I close this now? Okay, closing this.